guess we're going to start with a, a little bit of what, what is MyZB. Um, I assume that probably you have heard a little bit about MyZB or maybe nothing at all, and this will be a great chance for us to convey how we see MyZB now and how we see MyZB in the future. Um, so MyZB is a cloud for shipping AI logic into production. And the, the reason for MyZB to exist is that there are amazing technologies out there for AI logic, and uh, they continue to, to grow. So uh, we have here in the audience even one of the, um, the, the builder of Langchain, for instance, one of the most popular projects in the hemisphere of AI logic. And you will find that these projects are capturing developers' imagination for many reasons. I think that the things that are possible to today with AI were not possible four years ago, three years ago, two years ago. And um, what we start to understand now is that we can actually help people move into production the things that they're building in their laptops in a way that is very organized and plays very well with the way that people build applications, the way that developers are used to building applications. So um, the question that we ask ourselves constantly is, how do we help people do that? How do we help people organize the projects that they have uh, with some AI logic and make it so that when they put it in production, they can run the systems and continue to update them as new technologies continue to evolve? And what we realize is that there are like essentially three players in this game. There are the AI logic uh, systems and frameworks and platforms. Then you have the enterprise data sources. And MindZB got really good at integrating to every possible data source that exists. And um, actually, we made it very easy for people to contribute that. So right now, we have more than 100 of those integrations. And therefore, we make it very easy for any player on the AI logic space to augment the capabilities that they have. For instance, if you're building something with uh, Llama Index, you can plug Llama to more than 100 databases today. Or the same thing if you're doing it with Langchain, or even if you're doing things directly with OpenAI, or you're doing things with uh, other players like, um, um, for instance, we have Nixla, who's like a time series forecasting framework. Um, and we allow you to extract data from any of the data sources that we have, plug it into these models. So that's one of the things. The other thing that we realize is that there are already many enterprise applications that exist out there, plus many other enterprise applications that will be built with engineers kind of like putting AI capabilities into them. So what we wanted to do was something very simple. We wanted to enable developers to plug any of the AI logic space into the data space, and also once they plug those two things together, to connect it to the application in the simplest way possible. And to do that, we kind of augmented the capabilities of the query languages of databases. So in SQL, we added a few set of premises that allow people to either train or uh, plug, fine tune models that exist in the AI space. And then um, also consume them in a way that is you know, the most reasonable for a developer. So essentially, what I want you to stay here uh, when you think of MindCB is MindCB allows you to take the work that you're doing on your laptop and push it into a server that runs in production. Um, a little bit more about MindCB. We built MindCB for dev teams that are building and shipping AI first enterprise applications. And we really want to guarantee that these applications can run in production in a very reliable way. And again, MyZB continues to be a maturing open source project, but right now it's already quite mature. And uh, we'd like to you know, show you a few of the examples of what people are building with MyZB. Uh, we have customers that have built amazing applications, plugging different technologies, and then shipping that into production. Um, we have partners that have leveraged the ecosystem of MyZB to do even a powder reach into their communities. And um, I think that this is a good opportunity for me to introduce you to my co-founder, Adam, who is going to explain to you why else 
and why are we here? Fantastic. Thank you very much, Jorge. All right, thank you very much, Jorge. So I'm Adam, I am the co-founder and chief operating officer of MindDB. Um, I'd like to just take a moment just to reflect on the extraordinary path that we have, um, that has brought us here. AI has been around for, at least as a concept, for decades. From the early days of um, Alan, Al, um, Alan Turing's um, visionary work in the 1950s through to the expert systems of the 1970s, um, the dream of creating machines that could think and learn has, has um, you know, captivated generations of brilliant minds. Um, over the years, AI has witnessed the ups and downs, the triumphs and the setbacks, as many of you are aware. Um, but it is in this present moment, uh, here and now, that we find ourselves at the, uh, 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 the um, of, of, of a true AI revolution. And um, from the turnout today and, and uh, the turnout of things like um, uh, the Hugging Face uh, Woodstock AI, which I know many of you attended a few months back, the, the center of this revolution truly is here in the Bay and in San Francisco. Manzini in particular has been working on these problems since uh, 2018, which makes us both a well-established, uh, but also yet a young company. Um, and the path that we took to get here has been guided by our community, as Jorge mentioned, both here and around the world, sharing your time uh, and your ideas to make MindsDB a better product. The contributions of this community are truly awe-inspiring. AI wouldn't be here, uh, wouldn't be where it is today if it wasn't for the collaboration of thousands of selfless individuals, and MindsDB is no different. Um, we wouldn't be in this room today if it were for not, and were not for our community. Um, and all the others that are working with us uh, and around us. When we first talked about doing this conference, um, what we really wanted to do, we set out to, um, uh, not to necessarily uh, talk about MindsDB too much, but rather to highlight the incredible work of the people around us and, and what they've been doing. So today you will hear and learn from many of our community members, uh, from our partners, our customers, and our investors. Um, and in many instances, we are just the conduit to, um, you know, uh, which a lot of people are using to build some very, very cool stuff. So I would like to say a big thank you um, to a couple of people. So uh, one is Navin from Mayfield, uh, Schuster from TQ Ventures, and uh, Chaitin from Benchmark. Um, uh, they'll be coming later this afternoon for a, for a panel. And I'd like to thank them for supporting us and, and uh, believing in what we're trying to achieve and joining us on this journey. Um, and also for those uh, who have... Uh, supported us throughout our journey and continue to support us to this day. So thank you, uh, everybody. I'd uh, like to give them a round of applause. Um, thank you. <clears throat> so uh, last but not least, if you would like to be more involved in the AI community, we also run the AI Collective. Um, so you can scan this QR code here that will take you to our meetup page, um, or you can uh, seek out any of these two individuals or anyone with a MyZB t-shirt. So, Ian is uh, right here, and Yana is right here. Um, so please uh, join us uh, for, for those events. So I look forward to speaking to many of you today um, about what you're working on and all the incredible things you're building. Um, so please come and find me, and, uh, and we can have a chat. Thank you very much.